Should you use a software solution for video production or dedicated hardware? It's a choice all video producers and AV pros face at some point. And the decision has important implications for production quality, performance, and reliability. In this video, I'm going to take you through the major considerations when deciding between hardware encoding and software encoding for video production. But first, let's clear up these two terms. Hardware encoder and software encoder can mean different things to different people. So what am I talking about here? When I say software encoder, I'm referring to an application running on general purpose, off-the-shelf computer hardware, like your desktop or laptop, with an operating system like Windows. OBS and vMix are examples of popular software you might use. By hardware encoder, I mean a dedicated appliance built from the ground up for live streaming and recording. Epifan's own Perl 2, Perl Mini, and Perl Nano are great examples. Now to compare the two, we'll cover six key areas, availability, quality, performance, reliability, affordability, and ease of use. Availability might be the biggest advantage of software encoders. These days, everyone has an internet connected device that can stream or record video to some extent. And because software encoders run off of standard computer hardware, provision and replacement are a lot simpler too. But if getting your hands on one or the other isn't a problem, would you be better served by hardware or software? With dedicated video production hardware, you often get a lot more flexibility out of the box to help you achieve that professional quality. Multiple built-in inputs for high quality video and audio, including HDMI and SDI, XLR and TRS aren't uncommon. Whereas software encoders are limited to what's built into the computer they're operating on, unless you add separate capture cards or audio interfaces. Reliability is everything, especially for live video production. So which should you stake your project on? Hardware or software? Definitely hardware. Hardware encoders are more reliable because they're tailor-made for video production. Compare this to running video streaming software on a Windows PC, for example. Here, the application is competing for resources with other processes that have nothing to do with video production. Some can even interrupt your live stream. OS updates, virus scanners, and random pop-ups are common culprits. And then there's the dreaded blue screen of death. Not a problem with a dedicated appliance. Usually, all the parts inside are hand-picked or built for video production and the underlying software is tuned to the task at hand. A hardware encoder also means fewer points of failure. That can make a big difference for more complex productions. Just look at these two setups. Every hardware add-on and cable is another piece that can fail and bring down your production. A hardware encoder streamlines things for an easier setup and greater reliability overall. With so many possible combinations of computer hardware and dedicated appliances on the market, it's impossible to say for sure which is more affordable, hardware encoding or software encoding. Speaking in general terms, software encoder setups often mean a lower initial investment. Where hardware encoders start to gain favor is with higher end productions. For instance, those that involve multiple cameras all streaming in 1080p or 4K. A hardware encoder might work out to cost less when you factor in the capture cards, audio interfaces, and expensive components you'd need to get the same performance from a software setup. I talked about how hardware encoders can be a lot easier to set up thanks to their built-in video and audio inputs. Depending on the product, a dedicated appliance can also be much easier to use than a computer-based setup. For example, Epifan Perl systems have built-in screens for confidence monitoring and basic control. The front screen menus are easy to navigate, and there are even dedicated buttons for one-touch streaming and recording. For full control, users can jump into the admin panel and easily find everything they need. With features like these, Perl systems are simple to use and simple to train others how to use. I hope this helped answer the question of hardware versus software encoding. Of course, it's not always a choice between one or the other. Your mileage may vary. Some applications may need both, or software may be best due to project constraints. All things considered though, the victory goes to hardware. If you'd like to learn more about the Perl family of hardware encoders, check out our website, 
And to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo, email info at epifan.com. Thanks for watching.